The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, you know, we, we, were, we were waiting. We were waiting a long time for uh, Sinisa Estrada and the announcement of our next fight. We finally have it. We finally have it. Uh, mark the date, say the date, July 9th, over there in LA. Sinisa Estrada will be fighting on the undercard of Gilberto Ramirez versus Sullivan Barrera and um, Javier Fortuna versus Jojo, uh, Jojo Diaz. And she's going for her second world title. Yes, her second world title in her second weight class. And she's fighting a Japanese fighter by the name of Tanakai Tsunami. Now, I wasn't familiar with Tanakai Tsunami, so I had to really go do some homework because I'll, I'll be honest with you. Look, I like Sinisa. Sinisa's a friend of the channel, but we keep it a buck here on True School Sports. Friends or no friends, we keep it a buck here on True School Sports. When I looked at this fight at first, I thought this was a straight cherry pick because of the record. Uh, Tsunami's 24 and 12. Um, 24 and 12, 16 knockouts. Um, and knowing Sinisa Estrada and the fighter she is, there, I, I thought there were better fights out there for her. You know, she's been targeting her fights with like Yesenia Gomez, Jessica Bop, which is like a fantastic fighter. That that probably be the best fight out there for her would be her versus Jessica Bop. You know, um, I would have loved to see that fight happen, but you know, Jessica Bop is like semi-retired right now. She hasn't boxed since June of 2019. So, Sinisa Estrada against Tanaka Tsunami, not the best fight in the world. Yeah, I, I would have rather seen her stay at 105 and fight Estuko Tata. I, th I think that would have been a good fight for her. But this isn't a bad fight. At upon further review, this isn't a bad fight. So you can't go by box record. Now, what can we talk? What can we say about um, Tanaka Tsunami? She's two division champion. All right, she's been two division champion. She won a world title at 115 pounds. She was a super flyweight champion, WBA. Um, super flyweight champion and now she's the WBO light flyweight champion so she's been a world champion in multiple weight classes and Tanisa Estrada you got to give her some credit because this is somebody that early in her career she was fighting girls that weren't even her weight class and now she's fighting a girl she's fighting two back-to-back -back world champions you find people that you know you'd want to see her fight you know because uh, let's be real let's keep it a buck here on true school sports when it comes to women's boxing, there isn't a whole lot of, of talent. The depth of talent isn't that big, you know, especially in the lower weight classes. So there's not a whole lot of opponents for her to fight. So the best thing she could do is, is, is fight whoever's willing to sign a contract. Now, I know for a fact that she's been targeting the fight with Yesenia, uh, Yesenia Gomez. And um, that hasn't happened. You know, the, Yesenia, Yesenia Gomez, who's a champion at 108, she hasn't been willing to sign any contracts, so she had to go this route. And how do I know this? I know this because Sinisa Estrada has been talking about it for a long, long time. Sinisa Estrada, you know, she's not one to talk shit that much, but she went on Instagram and she was talking about Yesenia Gomez not willing to sign a contract. So they went down the list. Jessica Bob, we don't know what the hell is going, going on with her career. I don't know if there, if there were any offers made. She hasn't boxed in two years, so even if Sinisa fought... Even if Sinisa fought her, she'd be an older fighter and an active fighter, and she might not get the credit. So she's fighting a girl in... Um, Tanakai Tsunami, who has been two division champion, she's won this belt and she's defended it once. So when you defend a belt, you know that, that legitimizes uh, your, your championship status. So it's good for Sinisa because if she wins, just like that, just like that, with a snap of a finger, she's two division champion, to, uh, you know, two division champion, undefeated, and uh, she she'll be she'll be on her way towards making. Um, a run at becoming one of the stars, the premier stars of not just women's boxing, but boxing at large. I've said it for a long time here on True School Sports. I think Sinisa Estrada has all the all the ingredients in and out the ring to be the biggest star in women's boxing. And to get her on a card like this, to, to continue to uh, you know put her in these fights where she can show how good she truly is, you know that's that, that's what we need to see from her. You know her last fight she fought Annabelle Ortiz. Ortiz, not um, no you know not a bum at all. You know, Annabelle Ortiz had that WBA 105 pound belt for a long, long time. You know, uh, she defended it like, what was it, eight or nine times? You know, a, a lot of times. She wasn't no run of the mill champion. She was a, a good, credible champion. So it's another chance for Sinisa to try out to answer the bell and show the world, you know, who she truly is. And I'm excited for it. You know, it's, it's, it's a chance for her to really um, stick, stick her flag in the ground, so to speak, and, and, and show the world, like, look, hey, I'm, I'm not only am I one of the best fighters and stars in women's boxing, but I'm one of the best stars in boxing, period, male or female. So good for her, good for her. You know, I, I thought it was a straight cherry pick because I, I do what most boxing fans do. 
at first. I looked at the record. I said, oh, my God, how could Tanisha Stroud be fighting a girl with 12 losses? But then upon further review, upon looking at the some tape, I, I did I did go back and I watched uh, Tanaka Tsunami's fight with Caroline Rodriguez. And, you know, she seems to have a bit of slickness to her. Um, and look, she has 16 knockouts in, um, you know, what was it? almost 40 fights and in most cases that wouldn't be uh, a big deal but in women's boxing most women they punching mo most women don't have 16 knockouts in that many fights so you know she can punch a little bit and she's slick and she's a veteran and she's been a, and she's been a two division champion so Sneeze Estrada it's not gonna be it's not the, the, she's not fighting a girl that's been untested she's fighting someone that's been through the fire that knows how to that, that knows her way around the boxing ring and I'm looking forward to seeing what she does but I'm gonna leave it at that that's the news Sneeze Estrada saved the date July 9th WBO light flyweight title against Tanakai Tsunami should be a great fight should be a momentous occasion. Let me, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.